Hey everyone, I'm Meredith, Community Manager here at Oasis Foundation. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment. Welcome to Episode 3 of Oasis Insights, a monthly video series where we take the very best questions from the community and answer them. We have a lot to cover today, so let's jump in. Question 1. What exactly is Parcel? A Paratime or a Layer 2? Parcel is no longer a paratime. Instead, it's a layer two scaling solution on the Oasis network. It's closer to what Ethereum familiar developers call a Validium. When Parcel was first launched, the network wasn't fully mature yet, but now that it is, it's more secure and efficient to operate as a DAP on a programmable paratime like Emerald or Sapphire. Now that we have Sapphire and Cypher, it's much easier to build Parcel and Parcel-like DAPs without resorting to paratimes or layer twos. Visit the link in our documentation in the description below for more information on building DAPs on Oasis. Question two, what is the difference between the consensus layer and the paratime layer? There are two main layers to the OASIS network, the consensus layer and the paratime layer. The consensus layer is the foundation upon which the paratime layer builds, innovates, and evolves. The consensus layer accepts transactions and other executions from the paratime layer and writes them into the blockchain with a proof of stake mechanism and a decentralized set of node operators that reduce the risk of computational errors and friction against future innovation. The paratime layer consists of multiple parallel paratimes, which can be thought of as, as additional blockchains. Paratimes in the paratime layer operate as separate networks that can be designed to better suit various applications. Question three, what is a T? In a confidential paradigm like Cypher, nodes are required to use a secure computing technology called a trusted execution environment, or a T. Ts are similar to a black box for smart contract execution. With the use of key management, encrypted data goes into the black box along with a smart contract, where the data is decrypted, processed by the smart contract, and then encrypted before it's sent back out of the black box. This process ensures that data remains confidential and is not disclosed to the node operator or the application developer, maintaining true and total privacy for users. Question 4. How does Oasis differ from other networks like Secret, Monero, and Zcash? Monero and Zcash are privacy coins, concerned with facilitating anonymous and untraceable transactions. Instead, Oasis is focused on data privacy, supporting applications that need to process sensitive data. Privacy coins serve an important but narrow purpose. Confidential paradigms can support a wide range of use cases beyond anonymous transactions. There are some big differences with Oasis compared to each one of those networks, both in the overall architecture of the network and the security design. To start, let's explore the overall architecture to highlight how confidentiality is being protected in the Oasis network architecture. On a high level, the Oasis network introduces a notion of paratimes, which are their own blockchain, sharing security with the consensus layer. The consensus layer itself is not confidential and does not support user uploadable smart contracts. Its core function is to manage everything that is needed to support paratimes. In a stark contrast, Monero and Zcash are privacy coins at the consensus layer and do not aim to support general confidential smart contracts. Question five, does the network implement slashing and what is slashing? Most proof-of-stake blockchains have reward and penalty mechanisms. Good behaviors are encouraged through rewards. Validators receive rewards for both attesting and proposing blocks to the blockchain as a percentage of their stake. On the flip side, bad behaviors, inactivity, and dishonest validations are subject to a penalty called slashing. This mechanism is designed to discourage malicious, malicious validator behavior and to incentivize network participation, as well as node security and availability. The penalty for slashing on Oasis Network is 100 rows at the moment. Question six, do you have any tips on how to choose a validator? Yes, we have a few useful tips that we've gathered from the community. So the average validator commission across all blockchains is 10 to 12%. Not all validators can earn rewards. You must be on the active set of validators for your delegators to earn rewards. Look for validators that have self stake tokens. If they have skin in the game, then they have a reason to keep the node running. And also choose a validator that has 100% uptime. You wanna stake with a node that runs 24 seven, 365. Consider staking with validators in the bottom one-third of the active set. It helps keep the network decentralized if you don't stake with the top 25 largest nodes. Remember, no validator ever takes custody of your tokens. Every network is different, but in general their voting power is moved from your wallet into a ledger on the blockchain. So even if your validator is offline, you can unbond or redelegate to a different node. Stake with two or three validators to hedge your risk of slashing or losing all your tokens to a hacker. This is easiest on inexpensive blockchains and harder on expensive chains like Ethereum. 
Well, that's a wrap for this month's episode of Oasis Insights. We have some great new content in the works here at Oasis, so if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates. If you have a question that you'd like to see answered on the next episode of Oasis Insights, leave it in the comments or head over to any of our community channels and ask there. See you next time on Oasis Insights.